Kirby. What can we say about him? The ability sucking maniac who is out for murder by taking abilities from his enemies and using it against them. The pink puffball who is just so adorable, but don't let his cuteness get to you, cause Kirby is pure evil. Okay, we're well not pure evil, just the ability to kick ass in Super Smash Bros. We all know that Kirby is a well-rounded character, some may say he is the best character of all time, cause Kirby has one slight advantage over other characters, which is to copy their powers by sucking them up and using that power against them. We grew to love him, and maybe some hate him, Fuck you, Kirby is awesome. After he sucks someone up in Super Smash Bros., he attains a B-button signature move and wears a special hat on his head. Some of the powers he obtains are very dull and weak, while other powers he obtains gives him a higher advantage to defeating his opponents. In this video, we take a look at the top 10 best Kirby powers in Super Smash Bros., or I like to call it, the top 10 Kirby's most powerful abilities. When you obtain Ivysaur's Bullet Seed, it may not shoot at a distance, and you have to be close to the enemy to use his power, but get close enough, and it's an excellent way to increase the damage ratio up fast. It can be quite hard to jump out of the way. You can always get your enemy when they try coming to attack you up close, or when they try to come down on you. When obtaining Sheik's Needle Storm, it's a silent but deadly shot. Once Kirby charges up using Cheek's ability to throw a slight invisible needle, which you won't see coming until it hits you at full force. It may not blast the enemy off, but it can stun them for a little bit, leaving them open for another attack. Go ahead, give them a blow when they are down. If you thought Fox Laser is weak, you are wrong. While the move may look weak, which it can be since it's only 3% damage ratio per shot, but it is a very powerful way to building up someone's damage ratio very fast. If you are lucky to get the opponent trapped, just fire away until they escape, or fire a little bit at a time. In no time, you increase them to a high percentage and give them a full force attack, leaving them flying off the screen. The Koryo has a nice charge up move in which you can blast your enemy off the screen. If the enemy is close enough while you charge, you can actually trap them with the orb building up their damage ratio and let the orb just blast them away. Of course, it's not as quite as powerful of a blast, but it gets the job done. Jigglypuff's throw out attack is one powerful move, as it just sends your enemy flying far with little damage ratio. Get their percentage up to at least 60 to 70% and you can send them flying off the screen. If you miss your enemy on the first blow, just turn around during that attack, and they won't see what hit them when you come back for another try. Just give them a blow to the face or blow them when they aren't looking. I think Donkey Kong is one of my best characters. When Kirby attains his power to punch enemies hard in their face, while it can take a bit of time to charge up, he can send his enemies flying in no time. All it takes is 3 hits normally to KO your enemy, Unless if you're going against Donkey Kong himself or some other big character. Then you might need to use it a few times more. Just be careful when charging up and don't let anybody attack you, cause then you have to charge back up again. When Kirby obtains Samus's gun, you better watch out cause that glowing orb will come flying and blasting you off. It is as powerful as Donkey Kong's punch, but this can hit you from far away. If the enemy tries to get close to you, you can fire an attack early, but it won't be as powerful of an attack. It could still send you flying off though. Once Kirby fully charges, the enemy or you better watch out cause if that hits, no matter how far away you are, it will send the opponent flying. You can defeat an enemy within 3 hits depending where you stand, and who you are up against. Okay, for this I had to make it a tie. While Captain Falcon's Falcon Punch is powerful to send your enemy flying off the screen, Ganon actually has the same ability. While both characters have different speeds, it doesn't matter what Kirby attains, he will use it just the same. If Kirby goes against Ganon, he has a higher advantage than Kirby going against Captain Falcon, cause Captain Falcon can dodge his attack while Ganon is much slower, so Kirby actually has a better chance for hitting him. However, both moves have the same damage ratio in which can send anyone blasting off. 
It may be a slow move. If you can charge up without taking a hit and aim, you will give a big impact to your enemy blasting him off the screen. With Ness power, you just have to aim and let it slowly go after the enemy. If you try to jump out of the way before it fully charged, just let it rip and blast them as they try to escape, which will send them flying. Ness PK Flash can send the enemy flying within two shots if done correctly, and it doesn't even have to be a full charge. Also, with Ness PK Flash, it feels so satisfying to blast your enemy off. And finally, our number one most powerful character Kirby can suck up would have to be Ike. Ike is one powerful motherfucking character. With his move and when Kirby obtains it, Kirby can send his enemies flying off faster than you can say KABOOM! It may take forever to charge up. It may not even hit your enemy, especially if your enemy is far away. But man, if your enemy flies into you at the exact moment it's fully charged, it will hurt them so badly sending them flying and blasting off the screen. Of course during my recording I couldn't get a full charge, and you can see it takes timing to hit the enemy. But it does a great job of doing damage, even without being fully charged. There you have it, the top 10 Kirby's best powers he can obtain. Do you agree with the list, or do you have your own opinion? Be sure to check out my other Smash videos as well as my other videos I made. Be sure to like, comment, and share this video. If you like, hit the subscribe button to see more upcoming videos.